I'm telling you that. She's always ready. That's what she's doing. I'm sitting right up there. Hi. Hi. That is Kathy Bourne. Uh-huh. And my name is Molly. And together we're... Linen and Scraps. Linen and Scraps. And we were mm -hmm. back, and uh, we have too much stuff today. We have a mess. We have a mess, and we have a lot of stuff. Best kind of conversation when it's... It is. And uh, anyway, this is a channel about cross-stitch. Let me get serious here for a minute. A channel about cross-stitch and a lot of other stuff, crafty stuff and all. Mostly cross-stitching, though. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> laughing because it's like we got everything but cross-stitch. No, oh, no, we got a ton of cross-stitch. A lot of cross-stitch. Cross uh, but the thing is this about that. Kathy and I haven't seen each other for what? Oh, a week a couple, and a half, yeah, two weeks, something two like weeks. that. So we piled up all of our stuff all to, of catch our junk. Up, to catch up on everything. Yeah. And I'm telling you, it was a race. This... Yeah. She did some shopping. I did some, I did shopping. some shopping. And did, uh, some did some shopping. stitching and did some framing and all. So yeah. anyway. Yeah. Okay. You, I know you've been busy. I've been having fun. Doing yeah. a lot of things. Because Molly things. had a lot of finishes last time. <gasps> and they're finally in position. Yeah. Okay. So on that note, do you want to start with finishes or do you want to start no, with I all? Think, I, think, <laughs> I think you should start with finishes. Oh. Start with finishes. Yeah. Okay. Kathy, you, do you have any finishes? Oh. Well, that's not true. Because I finished my two quilts. And I brought my two oh, quilts. Oh, do you want to show them? Yeah, I, I brought them to show. Okay, well, let's see I Kathy's sat quilt. On, you know, Kathy, um, do I need to get out of the way? I sat on my tush for about five days, paid a severe price. Yeah. <laughs> Get up but after that. I did. I actually got them bound. Okay, we won't do a whole lot of other than cross stitching, but th these are, yeah, you gotta They're, see them. So, this is the chandelier quilt. And <clears throat> you can help me, Molly. No, oh, I love the fabric in the back. Yeah. Oh, look how sweet the colors yeah. are. Yeah. So, that's the chandelier, and all the little diamonds look like a chandelier beads hanging from. Kathy, I love it. I know. And look how pretty my binding is. It's like. Perfect in every way. Mary Poppins. Okay, go yes. ahead. So that's one. Okay, here, I'm going to take this. Okay, you do, you do your thing. And then, if so these it, two quilts have been sitting. Every time I go to my sewing room, I'd be like, oh my God, these two quilts need to be quilted and they're just taking up room and yada, yada, yada. Um, so my mother in law was an avid quilter as well. Her name was Kathy, too, Kathy Born. Um, and she had this one done. But not quilted, not bound. And this one is flying geese around a couple of panels. And this is for Easter. How sweet but is I that? But I love the colors because it's red. I love red and blue. Um, but yeah, there's a little Easter bunny in there. And this one's all hand done binding too. So done. Two of them done, Molly. Did yes. you just say hand done? The What's binding. Okay. That's what I mean. I sat on my tush Holy for like four days. But anyway, they're done. So they yes, I have been busy doing quilts. Okay, so now you've got to figure out what you, where you're putting these now. I know, I'll put that one back over okay. here. So that, though you, that's the finishes you got, which are pretty extraordinary. Yeah, and, and honestly, um, it did take a, probably a week to get the bindings on both of these because I like to sew them on, but then I do like to do the hand sewing on them. Um, to get the bindings mm -hmm. done. I'm not a gluer and I'm not a <clears throat> machiner. Um, and then I got to tell you one more thing that isn't like cross stitch related, but it certainly goes with all of your cross stitch stuff. But I made my tulips. I think they turn out cute. And then the bunnies. Which are precious. And the chicks. How cute are the chicks? So, did, did you, did Ralph cut these for you, or they were pre-cut, or what? Long, long time ago, and I long thought, this is really time. stupid. Let's just get these things done. And they, I tell you, they look adorable. They're adorable. So, if your husband, friend's got old pieces of wood, cute, just cute. And then I stained them, excuse me, painted them, sanded them, stained them, waxed them. Ooh, exhausting. Yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. So, but, and Kathy, I'm, it's like I'm hearing a lot of uh, floss tubers lately doing uh, finishing projects that they've had on hold for yeah, years. Yeah, for a long time. It's something. like, get her done. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> so the less I leave, the less that goes in the dumpster. Yeah, it'll go straight to Goodwill this way. Okay. <laughs> it'll, it'll be done. So, yeah. Kathy, so these I, are precious. I've been busy doing that. And um, that's and then cross-stitching. I also I have my one whip that I've been She's working on. She's got a pretty, pretty whip. Um, but that's okay. kind of it in a nutshell. And Molly, um, she knows I like candy. 
but I like Molly. So I set out some Werther's. So uh, I brought original. Molly two bags of candy. <laughs> Oh, and there's a little soft yes, caramel. I, yeah, because yeah. then you try to make them over here and you can use candy. Well, I had sent out some of those. I have a whole bowl full of them somewhere, yeah. but I put, let me put at least a couple oh, up in front yeah. of them. Uh, well, thank you, man. Well, and I have candy in my pocket, too. Because, <laughs> you know, I like candy. Got I'm such a that candy. candy. That's so sweet. I thank know. You. So now you've got candy. Look at it. I got my nips. Okay. Oh, and nips. That's I best. know. You can't get that old fashioned, the old nips anymore. The new nips are not made the same. Mm -mm. No. Mm -mm. No. Mm -mm. So, anyway. Moving on. Okay, I'm gonna go to finish this. This is my candy. Then, and Jim, then we're good. We're ready. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm gonna go on to my finishes, but I do want to tease. Uh, I think they just uploaded yesterday. Today is St. Patty's Day. Yes. I'm wearing green earrings. Yeah. I got I a green, green stripe. Shirt. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, green. Is your green stripe in my hand? So top of the morning to you. Yeah. And uh, I was watching Lenny and Roberta from mm -hmm. Sable Stitchers. Oh yeah, I saw them yesterday. And one of the things Lenny says, and I felt so connected to her when she said that. She said, the next time I say anything about plans, just say, liar, liar, <laughs> pants on fire. <laughs> Have big plans and, uh, for February. And we are on March 17th today because it's St. Patty's Day. Yeah. And I got tickled because then Roberta teased her about it. Well, let's just call them. In inspirations or inclinations, you know, we're inclined to do yeah. this or something, not necessarily plans and rock solid. But in February, I had done fully finished February and I did a hashtag on Instagram. Thank you, thank y'all who posted some pictures of y'all's pretty finishes and all. Uh, but it was my intention to get these finished in February, but Hobby Lobby's intentions were not for me to get them what, finished. They weren't working yeah. with you <laughs> <laughs> in February. <laughs> so I did, I got my frames back like the last day of February yeah. or second to the last day or something. So I've got some things framed. Now, yeah, most I, of this stuff I got from Hobby Lobby Frame Department. Loved it. Loved it, loved it. We had a couple of measuring issues that... Uh, one major measuring issue. Yeah, but, but... And that Swedish young man, I love him to death, yeah. but... I'm, I know which one you're talking about. He's good. He is good, he's but it's good. like... I, he's mm, good to work with you. Yeah, but anyway, um, and they're going to... I mean, they're fixing me, yeah. so that's why I'm running a little late on that one. But this frame I bought from uh, Art to Frame or something on the internet, but this was that little... Um, pattern I had that was a free pattern from, I want to say Erin Michaels, but anyway, um, and it looks Irish to me, you mm -hmm. know, like an Irish blessing or something. So I got it finished and framed, and I was excited about that. And look, I even finished my back, finished my side. I didn't take the label off before I did it, so that's brilliant. <laughs> but anyway. Uh, I'm kind of rubbing off on her. <laughs> yeah. So, but I love it. And that was that yeah. fabric that was so open weave and Yeah, it looked all. a lot like Fiddler's Cloth. Someone actually, I think, called so, out the name uh, of it. it could, and I think yeah. it was by somebody And they told me it was a man. That, who's uh, not, but he's not doing yeah, that. Yeah. So, okay, the next one was, um, you know, I had done that sampler from the Wishing Thorn Molly sampler, which is back there yeah. on the wall, and I love it. Not the big one. It's Forget, the, send each of do, us one for yeah, our birthday. Yeah, but it's just, yeah. I love it. I love the colors of it and everything. Anyway, well, I had gotten this pattern from Mama Loves You GB on Etsy, yeah. and it was Be Not A Dunce. And, uh, so Molly jumped on that. <laughs> <laughs> Be Not A Dunce. Obviously, it's not working for me as well as I hoped. But anyway, um, a That's sweet really little girl funny. named Marianne Kettle was eight years old when she stitched this in 1838. Not this one. She stitched the original. I stitched the pattern. But anyway, it, the pattern was shown with like a dark thread, maybe yeah. black or mascara or something. Or me, but I dark went dark dark through my dark. threads and just found a bunch of colors and and your fabric stitched. is perfect and my fabric was sunshine from seraphim fabric so it's got peaches and uh, lilacs and greens and all in there so hobby lobby had this frame very pretty i like it now i do need to tell you this frame is actually a little lighter in color and i just took some of the uh decor wax yes. from hobby lobby mm -hmm. and um waxed over it a little bit to darken it up but i love how it turned out yeah it's pretty and the reason I was laughing about it is if you, I wanted it close to the edge and we measured and measured and I told the young man, you know, I'm going to be stretching it. So I pulled it as tight as I could to show him how to do it. But when I got this frame, can you see how close we are to the edge? And I had to wash it and shrink it to get it to fit to in, get there. in there. Yeah. So, whoops, you know, kind of thing. That isn't the worst one. But anyway, <laughs> but I love it. It was a great deal on a frame. Actually, I'm, you, and it's not terrible. It's not. It's, yeah, you've got it really good. It's not terrible. No, but I mean, as far as you having to put, stretch it and make it work. 
Right. Or not stretch it. Right. I, not stretch it. I didn't stretch it and I shrink, shrink it. it. So anyway, yeah. because I, I was like, I'm just going to make it work. Yeah. Okay, this next one, I love this. Okay. And did you tell them you put a little roll on the extra roll on the bottom? Yes. Uh, what I found out from Hobby Lobby is um, they don't cut the young man told me they don't cut under five and a half inches. And I really needed five inches. So I told him, I said, don't worry about that. So I just added another little boo boo at the bottom there. A little zigzaggy. Yeah, a little zigzaggy at the bottom. Yeah. And all. So uh, okay. this is Indigo Lane, is the name Render of the pattern. Derby yeah, Indigo Lane. England, and I love it. And uh, so, anyway, but you see holes on my walls. They go, these go right back up there when I'm finished. So I'm excited okay. about that. Okay. This was, uh, I don't really know the name of it. I should have pulled the patterns. I'll put them in the description <laughs> below if I can find them. Uh, I want to just show you, I'm so proud That's of that. That's a Brenda I did the back. Too. I had uh, Hobby Lobby just do the frames. What I found out is they don't charge a lot to go ahead and lace it and uh, finish it finish it and everything. So I probably should have had them do it. But I had fun doing it. So anyway, but I love the little frame on that one. Again, a Hobby Lobby frame. I like it. And look how, it, when I say close to the edge, it's close. Yeah. But that's what I wanted. I mean, I, yeah. but it's. Yeah, tight. Really close. Okay. Okay. And then the next one, which I love. Okay. I think was this Rosewood Manor? I think it was Rosewood. Yeah. It's called Circles and Corners or Corners and Circles or something. It was the back page. So I made my welcome sign. And if you can see the frame, it, it, it's not acorns, but it looked like acorns to me. And it had that pretty dark brown. So there's a place of nail right by my front door where this is gonna go. And all. So that, that was my finishes. Now the other one is the um, weather chart from Oh yeah, your um, um, stitching mommy, Quaker. stitching mommy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Quaker of temperature chart, and I could not, I couldn't make it work. I mean that that frame was just too little, and yeah. I think he just was an inch off, you know, because it was like it was half. Uh, there's half no way I could make it work. Yeah. yeah, so they're recutting it for me, and it should be here. Yeah, any minute, you know, kind of thing. So I love my finishes. They turned out really nice, Molly. Oh, thank you, Kathy. Now, while we're on finishes, I want to ask Kathy. Yeah? We had a couple of people comment about, they appreciated you telling them about pinning mm -hmm. last time. Pinning your charts onto the phone board. I mean, your finished pieces onto the phone board so you can frame them. So I asked Kathy um, earlier, how yeah. does she know where to start pinning? Or how, does she, so, you know, how many times do you have to move it? And it really comes down to a little bit of practice. Um, first of all, you want to make sure that you're stretching it equally on both sides, mm -hmm. like I have this, and also equally on the top and the bottom, mm -hmm. all right? Um, I'm not going to show you how to pin here today, but I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. So anyway, you, in, while you're stretching and pulling equally, and you can kind of see that, Molly, mm -hmm. that I'm pulling equally on both sides, mm -hmm. but I'm actually going to count the threads then, just like I count when mm -hmm. I'm stitching. And then that thread that I use is where I pin in all the way across and all the way around. Now, sometimes you can get lucky and start at the corner. We, once you start stretching it, you might start pinning at the corner, but doesn't always work out that well. Sometimes you're gonna end up starting in the middle mm -hmm. and working your way out to the corners. You just gotta fool around with it and um, see how tight your linen is. Some linen's tighter than mm -hmm. others. As you know, weaves are tighter than others. Mm -hmm. um, this one's going to give me a little bit of a, because I really need to stretch this one this way. Mm -hmm. Not so much the so other pretty. way. So um, and this, by the way, is my whip. This is um, the cranberry sampler, which is coming along. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty, Kathy. It's just dainty. It is. I don't know how well. Um, and this look, look how, when she says dainty. It's just dainty. Look how pretty. Look now, at the, this board on the bottom. Oh, I changed stars, a couple Kathy. things. I actually, I'm not a fan of backstitching at all. Um, so what I did is I charted all the words, cranberry, uh, cranberry, fenberry, um, all these different sassaberry. I charted it in Pattern Maker for cross stitch. Somebody had asked me what I ch used to chart mm -hmm. for over one, and I stitched that all over one. Um, and then I'm also going to put brought by Kathleen Bourne mm -hmm. um, in here too over one. <clears throat> and then I've, I've got to finish the top of it. But this is uh, the Cranberry Bog Sampler. This is by Eileen Bennett. Old one, 1989. For some reason, 
just had to go back to my roots a little bit and, mm -hmm. and uh, get her done. But the frame I have, I've already got my frame, and I think you can get a general idea what it's going to look like once I get it in there. So hopefully next time we tape, I'll be able to oh, show that, that off. So that is my whip as well. So and, uh, Kathy, that's it's just so pretty. Her just stitching pretty. I'm just going to get it. Get her done. Exquisite. Just exquisite. Get her done. But I want to go back to the thing I told Kathy. I said, this shows you what a novice I am and all this stuff. I laughed. I said, I used a adhesive back oh. foam board. You see her having a, she wants to whip me, but she just doesn't want to whip me in public. But uh, she wants I to spike my hand. I candy and everything. I know. She, don't take that to <laughs> candy. Okay. Now, anyway, let me move my candy. But uh, I used, so I used an adhesive back foam board, and I put, I cut the foam board to the size I needed mm -hmm. to fit in my frame. And then I laid it on a light box. You know, I have a Cricut light box, like mm -hmm. pen or whatever you call them, and turned it on. And so then when I laid my piece on top, I could see the edges of the of thing. The, of the it made bar. getting my thing straight Hard much easier. Better. Yeah, because I wasn't pinning. Yeah. You know, so uh, and I love it. It was like, oh my one God. One thing, was... too, when you pin, you may not get it right the first time. You can unpin it all. Mm -hmm. I do. I'll unpin it off. Well, yeah, I would have to, yeah. Flip your foam core over so that, because usually when you pin, you're going to get really close to the skin mm -hmm. of that foam core, but you don't, by using that same, if you pull it all apart and then use it again, those holes are there. Mm -hmm. So if you flip your foam core over, then you'll be able to use the skin that was not used. Does that make sense? I'm going to say yes. No. So this is the skin. Mm -hmm. But when you poke, you're going to poke close to that skin. But but if you flip it over, now you're going to have a new skin to, to poke into. So if into. you had to start over. Yeah, so okay. if you had to start over. Yeah. But what she does is better. It's better for the threads, better for everything, better, better, better. I'm sorry. I'm you just got to do what's best for you. Yeah. yeah, I was going to say so. Just got to uh, do what you got to do. And, and again, so, I'm yeah. not stitching for museum quality. It's, yeah. you know, these are cute I'm little novelty either. pieces. It just depends all, so. what you want to do. That's Everybody's it. different. Okay. Everybody's different. Speaking of stitching, there was a lot of conversation, and I borrowed this from a Facebook page about where to pull your linen. And I this has really helped me over the years is to always start at your vertical stitch if you're stitching over two. It anchors the thread, um, and you don't you won't lose your thread underneath. Whereas if you were starting from this side, your thread might sneak underneath here. Mm -hmm. Whereas here, it's going to actually anchor it. And not only that, um, but I have found if you do a check throughout your stitching that you're always on a vertical thread, mm -hmm. you kind of know when you're off. Like if all of a sudden you're not on a vertical thread and you're on mm -hmm. a not vertical thread, you're like, oh, shoot, mm -hmm. I counted wrong. Mm -hmm. I didn't count. Somewhere I'm yeah, off somewhere a thread. somewhere I'm off a thread. Mm -hmm. So that's a great way to throughout continually check that you're looking for that vertical thread that you're coming up by and at, at, over time mm -hmm. over years you just get used to looking for the vertical thread and mm -hmm. that becomes your friend then well that may be why i had teased a while so, back kathy gave me a piece of linen to stitch on it's a uh, it's a little texas thing it's up on the scale up there i don't know if you can see it anyway uh and I teased her, I said, the threads were so uneven. And I mean, by uneven, I mean, you know, they went like, you know, each thread was, yeah. you know, it looked like pulled flax or something, you know. And I'll, But I said, I, I would stitch and it would disappear. Where'd my stitch go? I uh -huh. bet I was stitching on the wrong oh, man, thing. Not yeah. on the vertical. That's so it. this oh, is man. on Facebook. Uh, a couple of groups were talking about this. And I really do believe that that's a great tool to start on that vertical thread. Um, another thing that was a big discussion, I'm going to just, well, I got these papers here. Okay. Um, we were talking about scissors. <clears throat> I don't know if you can see that tip, not the shadow, but the tip. See that tip? That is not a good tip. Um, and this pair of scissors was $80 with shipping. I'm shipping it back. And I think everyone should mm -hmm. kind of stay true to, if you're going to spend $80 on a pair of scissors, you're going to want the tips to meet. If oh, that, absolutely. That's where you just clip. That's mm -hmm. where you snip. And mm -hmm. if you don't have a good snip, like the Kohanas, or mm -hmm. Jean's got a new pair going on out there. But clearly, those do not meet. Yeah, they that, that's not good. They cross over, and so mm -hmm. they're never going to snip just right. And it, you can tell, it didn't give you any, like I said to my husband, can you fix these? And he's like, no, he's, this is already touching close to close, so there's no way to fix. Yeah, you can't you have to be yeah. overlapping. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh no way to fix that. Mm -hmm. So look at your tips when you spend money, a lot of money on tips and scissors. Mm -hmm. 
especially that kind of money, you want to make sure you get a good tip scissors. So there you go. Something to send back. But other than that, I think that was all my. Oh, one more. She's. It's I know lessons you're all from laughing Ka at lessons me. From Kathy I, I time. rolled. I roll my fabric mm -hmm. when I store it. Now, I don't know how long this piece of fabric was folded in a plastic bag, but obviously it took on the elements, whether it be the dye from itself or it was in a damp location. Now, this is not your picture. No. Okay. No, not my picture. It was one mm -hmm. that um, she ended up throwing the fabric away. She bought it for the silk that was inside the bag. So it can't have been that old because silk threads, while well, they've been around a long, long time, but, you know, silk threads usually... It's wow. rare you find them at the second-hand store mm -hmm. or anywhere. But you can see where the folds were, whether it be daylight or the elements or the dye within this linen. So roll it and don't, I roll my fabric. don't leave it out in the light. Don't leave sure it out in the light the because you you can. You take the chance, and linen's expensive, as is Ada. This will happen to Ada, too. Mm -hmm. um, so certainly you want to take mm -hmm. care of your linen if mm -hmm. you're, it needs to breathe. I know mm -hmm. people made fun of me that... It needs to breathe. It needs to breathe. <sighs> so, hashtag breathe your linen, I well, guess. I don't go. know. But just some other things. I think that was all that I made copies of that I okay. wanted to share. So. Okay, now, Kathy, you showed yeah. your whip. Can I show a, um, a yeah, couple of my whips? Yeah, I think you should. Oh, and then we'll get to haul. Yeah. Oh, my gosh, how fun is that? Okay, I had started this. Let me pull it out. <laughs> this was that uh, one of the sweet ladies left a comment about Molly after that many times of frogging out that pattern. If you're qualified for sainthood, I said, if you heard the words I used while I was frogging, it was probably sainthood. can't be from being a saint. But anyway, it was not sainthood. Uh, this is Summer Bees by the Twin Peak Primitives, and uh, the pattern is available. This I got it out of a magazine uh, that I had, but uh, isn't that a pretty little chart? Well, I had started it out and on light fabric. And when I went to stitch the bee wings, I've got the flower left to do and the bee wings and their antennas and things. Um, the white didn't show. No white I had showed. I, I picked out the bright, bright white from DMC and it showed, but it was too, that wasn't working for me. You know, that was too, you know, like a cartoon wing or something anyway. So I took the whole thing, stitched just like this, dyed it in coffee, and now my white will show. However, geez, Kathy, shows you how smart I am, being on a dunce. <laughs> I didn't finish stitching this flower. So when I stitch it with the threads, I'm going to have to cotton ball some coffee over or something so it matches right, that flower. I, I don't think you're going to have as that much of a trouble. I think that... You'll be yeah. surprised how much yeah. different the fabric was yes, from the, the original and how much the, the white... Th the and I had, a, I had stitched a white wing over here, and when I coffee dyed it, that white disappeared completely. Yeah, bird, so it's a, I think I'm going to have to... The bee flew away. So note kinda. to self, I should have finished <laughs> this flower, then coffee dip. Kind of, yeah. yeah. But the coffee dip made where now my white's going to show up. Yes. So I can finish this thing. But it's a beautiful pattern. It's the, you know, It will stitcher. have a lot of memories. It's the stitcher. Yeah. They had a problem. There will okay. be a lot of memories. Okay. When you, when you view that. That was one of my whips. Now, I'm sitting too far over. I'm sorry. Let me see. This is um, really pretty. This is called Mary Sampler. I got it out of a magazine. Oh, not a magazine. Book. A good, uh, Better Homes and Garden yeah. book. Let me show you. And when it was calling for threads, let me see if I can get this right, Kathy. I am too far out. It called for Paternian thread? Paternian? Pater it's yarn. Persian yarn. Well, needless to say, I don't have that. So, anyway, I just went with the pattern and I went through my threads and pulled colors I like. Yeah. So, now I'm just stitching, you know. So, these are the colors I pulled, which I love, you know. Uh... They're really pretty. I think so. They're, but they're really pretty on the linen. And then here's how far I've gotten. I haven't stitched as much in the last week and a half, as two weeks as I wished I had. But I love how it's turning out. The colors are really pretty. The colors are going to be I'm pretty. Gonna this one. And one You're of the things, Kathy, I did tease you. Well, that's my thread. Yeah, yeah I know. Oh, this, oh, sorry. Because it's so pretty. Okay. But uh, yeah. one of the things I did do was they called, like on this border, I don't know if you can see it. They use like a shade of orange, another shade of orange, another shade of orange, shade of yellow, another shade of yellow. Right. Well, I just used a variegated thread. Oh, it looks over really thread. nice. Not variegated, over dyed. Yeah. So that I'm getting that same effect. But I'm going to love this. Yeah. You know, I think that's going to be a real pretty cheery Did you happen pattern. to see the new DMC? <gasps> I wanted to ask you about that. The I earth know. dyed, the vegetable dyed or earth dyed colors. Is it wool? I want that. I want that. Um, I want the colors. Yes. And it's only a dollar fifty eight a scan or something. I'm not 
I don't know, like, uh, I'm sure we can Google it and jump online yards? and try yeah. to find where to to get some pieces well, like that. But I just everywhere thought, I've looked so far is it's coming soon. Oh, it's so, coming. Yeah, maybe out now, but uh, okay. I haven't looked in the last week or two. But yeah, okay, that reminded so. me of, of that. It's like, oh, okay. I need some of that thread. Now I'm going to show you, Carol, the saltbox stitcher. Uh, you know, fault. I'm blaming her for this. So I watched her channel and. Um, she showed up some pretty things and all. one of the things she showed was a pattern from Blackbird Design and it was part of the Garden Club. Right. Well, little did I know that the Garden Club was like 12 different patterns or something. Yeah. Yeah. So this little stack, what I've done is I've got my fabric in each one of them and I've only started, and so these are the threads that are called for throughout all throughout the all patterns. Them, yeah. yeah, throughout all the patterns. And the miss, I'm missing two colors and they're over there in the back little plastic bag so and I'm still missing one on it but anyway so this is as far as I've gotten on the first piece you know oh. so not anything too not pretty, but um, what I'm loving is how the border is not you got to pay attention it's not yeah. you, you can't get going too fast and then you usually do have without to changing it, some of them are like just keep going keep going you but anyway but I'm gonna love it <laughs> gonna love it so um so you're all kitted up for four of them, huh? I'm kitted up for four of them. So that one was right. How Does the Lily Grow, the Garden Club series. Yep. Isn't that pretty? I'm going to love that one. And then the other one I got was uh, the one Brenda showed that I had to have Basket of Cherries. That's what started all this nonsense. I like that one. I love it. And then, of course, I had to have Fairy Garden. Now, is that a, yeah, that's a garden club. I love this one. Isn't that pretty? Now, quick question, because you got some new Ada in. And I'm seeing this on one of your new pieces. It might of be. Well, I just oh, okay. Did I get some, okay. And then this is uh, from the Loose Feather series, but I need a lot of those thread colors oh, <laughs> that okay. are in there. That and these one. are such small little things. I'm thinking yeah. I might could make. So I have this in that bag, but again, I have this fabric with yeah, it and all. Really so I love this little. This gonna be a fun little bag. I won't get bored at all. No, with that you could take that on trips. Oh, yes. Are I'm you having corned beef and cabbage tonight? We're having ham and cabbage. Ham and yeah. cabbage? Yeah. So. Is that cheating? Well, I don't know. I'm not doing corned beef. <laughs> anyway, we are having we had, beer, but don't we tell We had corned beef. Now, why did this fall out? Oh, okay. So, this was a whip that um, oh, yeah, it's from J, JBW Designs, mm -hmm. and it's the Bluebird of Happiness. And I think I teased last time about, and she's come out with a dadgum cardinal. Yeah. Oh, it's so cute. Did you get it? Not Did yet. You it's it's it on order? my. Okay. It's in two different shops. It's on my oh. wish list, so I gotta just remember. But what I did was I pulled out the original stitching I had done. I've gone a little further on the top border, and I pulled out the original stitching because I'd done two over. Right. And this is, I think, a fourteen count Ada. Yeah, it looks like it's fourteen. Yeah, fourteen count. It's over dyed, so it's a little tighter than fourteen, but not much. But it's a fourteen count. But I've gone to one over with the variegated or over dyed blue yarn, and I like it much better. You yeah. Know, so it's it even looks heavy enough. I mean, that's. Oh, you ended up taking all of the blue out. Yes, that's the point. See, oh, can you okay. see here? Yeah. So I took all of that out, and now this is over one. Okay, with one over over one, right? I'm saying over one. I yeah. mean one, one thread, over one. one over one yeah. on fourteen count Ada. So you think yeah. it'd be too airy, it's, but it's not. Yeah. Because very, the letters are little and all. So I'm, love, I'm going to love doing this now. Yeah. I, it was, I'm not happy with it to begin with. Okay. And then I have some other whips, but we're not getting, you know, we ain't. Did you start this one? No, but I did want to correct something I had fussed about. Um, and uh, two or three of you pointed out to me, and y'all are right, I was wrong. And I knew I was wrong the minute after I did the video and looked at it. This is the pattern that was the freebie that we showed in the last video, right. and it's Mary Jane Fry, 1861, and oh, who is it by? The Solitary Stitcher. So it's a free pattern. If you go to the Solitary Stitcher Facebook page, you can pull up this beautiful chart. Isn't that, that's a wonderful yeah. gift. Well, when I was looking beautiful. at it, I thought it had X's at the bottom, and I thought, well, they did those in the same color. It's both X's. And it looks like two colors on the pad on the cover. Well, come to find out, one is a bold X, and one is a light X. Um, you have to pay attention. Now, when I grow up and uh, make my own patterns, <laughs> I'm going to make a note to myself. <laughs> Not to have them quite that close. Well, yeah, and, and first, I cannot thank you enough for the free pattern. The pattern oh my God, it's cool. like what a wonderful gift. But uh, it was my bad. I didn't. Yeah. Uh, I did not slow down enough to notice. Can you see this, Kathy? 
See, one is bold and one is not. They're yeah. both extras. Okay. Anyway, my bad. Y'all were right. I was wrong. You know. So, but uh, I love. You know, I haven't gotten any farther on it, but I did want to correct my, my boo boo on there. Okay. So for whips that I'm actually working on, actively working on, those are it. These are the colors I pulled for that uh, Mary Jane Fry. They're pretty. Aren't they? Whoop. Hold me. Hold on. Yeah. Pretty. So it's going to be a beautiful thing. It's just a. Yeah. I need a higher, higher magnification glass there. I forgot to show my archival cricket. Oh, isn't that funny? You're saying isn't cricket. Is is it cost? What's the I'm name? I'm pretty sure it's cricket. Is that just the name yeah. of cricket? Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, I come from the paper crafting where we got a cricket cutting uh, machine spelled different. We got Cosmo no. Cricket was a paper and line. And back in the day when I stitched this, there was a this music is a box doll. that this you'd doll. squeeze. Yeah, right here. You'd squeeze it. Oh, it, that was too. Check the thread out. The grass. Look that was, at the grass. That so was get, oh, uh, metallic back in the day th metallic thread. Oh my God! So I pulled him out. You know, I haven't had Easter stuff out in quite a while either, with going back home and what have you. The last couple of years have been kind of hectic, but I could just hold. Well, he just looks really like cute. you want to hug him. Yeah, really cute. So that's an old cricket pattern. Um, mm. Oh, that, that's stitched yeah, down. I can't show. Down, yeah. I hope y'all can see that thread. How pretty it is. The little grass that's sticking out of it. Oh my gosh, Kathy, that is darling. Just what fun. a treasure. Just old treasure. What an app. Ugh. Yeah, I had to bring that with. Um, so I did get some haul, and you got haul. A little bit. You got a lot of haul. No, I didn't, I didn't get a lot. I didn't get a lot. Um, I did get a pattern. I bought this pattern, Seasonal Courier Robin Spring. I love this one. Isn't that not adorable? And Molly didn't know that I bought this, nor did You're I You're not even anywhere near the camera. I there know. you go. Nor did I know she bought... A the sister, one, the sister to it. Um, till we got here today, and but I bought the robin, and she's got what one do you have? The blue jay. The blue jay. Yeah, but I'm anxious to this one. I might sneak in after cranberry. It's I just might, so it's, happy. The colors are just yeah. It's so just happy. so pretty. Okay, just so yeah. I'm show yours. Sure. So yeah. what happened is, you know, I'm a Texas at heart girl, and love my, you know. El Paso colors and bright colors and all. So I'm like, I love that one. I want to do that one. But I wanted to do this one first. That's but the Bluebird. The Bluebird. And what's it called? Seasonal Couriers. Yep. And it's Blue Jay Summer. So there, um, there's different birds. I got mine on Fat Quarter Shop. And it I, was got mine on, fat, it, I got mine on Fat Quarter yeah. Shop. Uh -huh. uh, just Isn't that a funny? download. But I love that. I love the crocuses. What kind of flowers on that one does it say? I don't uh, know what kind of flower that one is. It looks but like the, a rose The bug. quilting element. With the flying geese on the bottom. Just fun. DMC. You know I love blue bonnet. Like I say from Texas. Yep. I like yellow roses and I love blue bonnets. That's a yellow rose is what it looked like to me. I'm saying that's a yellow rose. Now what the big flower is, I don't know. It looks like a Mexican flower around here, you know, in El Paso. But just the colors and everything. Just oh my gosh. But Robin Pickens is coming out with some really cute She really cute had some cute charts. And, and I saw Helen D. I think did a video, wonderful and not video. Anything that's going to take forever in a day. No, you know, yeah, that's going to go pretty fast. Okay, so while you're talking about that pattern, we are yeah. just all over the place today. I apologize. These are the colors for the ones I'm doing. This is. And the, is this the bluebird? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, and I'm missing one color, one color, color. Uh, anyway, but I did want to show you, Kathy, these were, I watched a video, oh, what was that girl's name? I'm going to put it in the description below. Was it Erin Michaels? Was it, I don't know what her name was. She's very sweet. She's a designer. And she did Erica video. Michaels? I don't know what her name was. I'm sorry. If it's Erica Michaels, she's a designer. I'm going to look it up. Yeah. But anyway, and I'll put it in the thing. It'll, it'll say uh, floss drops. But she has gone, like me, we've gone, you know, gone through a couple of different types of floss drops. So I know a lot of y'all switch floss drops and share them and all that stuff. But I'm so, mm, you know, that I I was struggling with all these different size floss drops and different colors and all. And uh, I had my floss on Christmas, but then I had to switch it over to spring because I can't mm -hmm. have a Christmas thing on my spring pattern. But anyway, she used, this is plastic. Oh, you know, she like cut that them stencil. With the and she cut them with the cricket. Yeah. And mm -hmm. they're not going to tear. And I've tried pulling the yarn out and it doesn't rip. You know, I was worried about it ripping my... Oh my God! Can we Thread. talk about that? Why? So my cranberry sampler is on forty-six count 
linen. And I will tell you, and this is why I like to use a bigger needle. Oh. Because my thread, and I don't cut my thread very long at all, um, was shredded by the time I had this much left on the needle. Shredded. I mm -hmm. mean, it was like you couldn't even like retwist it or wet it or anything. I thought of Teresa Colgate because I think she uses her thread to the very last mm -hmm. half inch. Mm -hmm. um, and therefore, too, is just a tip when you do stitch on a smaller count. I always think the bigger, fatter needle is 26 size needle is better because you're making a hole for that thread to fly through versus it mm -hmm. grunging the sides trying to get through that hole. So. I did notice that very much so on this uh, 46 count fabric. Maybe it was fabric. shredding. And yeah. this was, so I tried it pulling a couple just of... just shredding the daylights I pulled a couple of, of threads out of this and the plastic, because I was worried about, is that, is that plastic going to cut the thread? And so far it has not, but you now I haven't done a lot. I've just tested it. But what I loved was uh, they're all the same size. They're not going to be in. I could put pretty stickers on the front sure, if I wanted to if you or wanted something. To. You know, just the theme of my room or something. But she actually showed her DMC thread, which she designs in DMC, instead of putting it by number order oh, on she... the DMC last page of the fold-out book you yeah. buy from DMC, yeah, I saw. it shows what column that color number is in. is in. So she has one that's all column one, all column two, all column three, yeah. so all the pinks are together, all the green. Yeah. <coughs> She's a designer, and it was easier for her. Right. I think Mama Loves You Gigi. GB does that too. But you talk about, I hate to tell you silly, you talk about turn me on. When I saw that uh, colored like that, that is how I'm going to do it. That is just mm -hmm. yummy. Now my only problem is I'm probably not going to like cross-referencing back. Now i got to look at that little chart and see what column number this came out of, what column number yeah. this came out. And I'm thinking, no, Molly, just put it back in the blue. Yeah. You just can put tell what... Put it back in the pink, right? You know, but it was so pretty. But her her floss tube was great. That was a very recent one, but a cute pattern. Yeah, so and I brought this fun. back over because um, I'm gonna put this up for Easter, Good Friday. This is oh, um, yeah. Tatelestai, mm -hmm. and in a minute I will tell you where my phone is. Tell you it's something cottage. Excuse me. Let me let me pull that up here really quick because I took a picture of it. Now, I did change the colors on this. Um, I did change them. This is by Quaint Rose Needle Arts. And originally this thing came out in red. And I added this stuff up here around the cross just so that it... That's actually how the old one looks. And I just took... I just added some stitches. But then Kathy, I, that is so I pretty. fussy cut some of the... Threads, but I wanted it more brown, and I've got a real pretty cross um, that it sits by. It's I hope y'all can see the display. colors in the yeah. that she used. Oh my God! Try to stay a little bit more to the brown. Just so I brought that over. I almost forgot that. Yeah. Yeah, I like that too. And I just I want to go back to my labels for just a second because yeah, what I was, was going to say is she, uh, the young lady who did the video and used these plastic things. Uh, and if, you know, that she used a Cricut, I bet you could use scissors or yeah. paper cut or whatever. She actually used her label maker and made her numbers on there. Well, that's not me. I mean, while uh -huh. I would like if somebody did that for me, I'm not going to sit there and make labels and try to cut them all the same size. Yeah. So I just have little labels, you know. Can't you go into Excel and just go brrr, where it automatically... Yes. And then I you guess. just pull off... But the more to the stories, I just use stick-on labels instead of a label maker. Yeah. You know, so, you know, and okay. she might have used, maybe she used it, I don't know. Okay. But the moral to the story, she had printed numbers. I've just handwritten yeah, my numbers so far, and I'm going to be okay with that. But, uh, nice. I love it so far. There, it's like, mm, we're going to see. I'll let you know if it shreds up my thread. And then we talked a little bit about my Blackbird last time. You remember all I showed you, I had the box done, <clears throat> and I'm going to be doing it on this linen that Molly and I dyed, but it's very similar to Murky. Um, but I pulled the threads, and look how cool that looks. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm failing. Just pretty, pretty threads. I think uh -huh. it's going to look kind of cool. It's going to look very cool. Yeah. So that'll be my box. Locking. This fabric is stiff. I know, that's one that you and I did. Well, this was when she brought it over, and she's like, yeah. I don't care if I ruin it, because yeah. you know, I'm not going to... Yeah, and now I love it. I love the color. Yeah. 
How are you going to get your wrinkles out of that thing? Oh, I get them out. Yeah, I'll get them out. Oh, I get them out. So that's the Blackbird casting a spell. Had the box done for a year and a day, and now I'll have it ready to go when I get the whim. You know, you got to get a whim. Mm -hmm. So that's that. All right. Okay. Go ahead, go ahead, Mom. I was, and then I'm jumping back over to, uh, this is a finish I had done last year. It was up in my room, and one of the viewers saw it and asked me the name of the pattern. I have, everything I've started, I have on little sheets of paper with a picture of the pattern, and then I, and I moved the completed ones to a complete thing. However, I cannot find what I did with this one. But it's somewhere, I think it's, it's somewhere in this room. So if any oh, of y'all know. You know what, that's a Brenda Gervais. You think? Uh-huh. What I was going to say is if any of y'all know what this pattern is, please put I'm it in the comments sure. below. <laughs> it's a friend of your way. And I even yeah. went back to our videos from yeah. last year sure. or two years ago or something, trying to find it. I can't find it in a video. So um, if any of y'all know the name of this pattern. I'm pretty sure it's Brenda your way. It was sweet. And one of our viewers wants to know the name of it. And I'm so sorry to say But I had made it. I used Vonna Pfeiffer's um, tutorial on, you know, making a flat fold, which I love. You know, so thank you for that, and we're going to find the name of that pattern. I got to clean my room is what that tells me. Okay, now, Kathy is now looking for the name of that pattern. So we're going to go on to haul. You ready to do haul? <laughs> I'm starting. Liberty okay. House, you go, girl. Liberty House. Well, that's Is she found it already? I'm pretty sure it's a Brenda Gervais. Oh, boy, you're close. That's, I know. Okay, anyway, I'm going to go. <clears throat> so how y'all doing? How are the kids? Everything good? <laughs> Okay, so um, yeah. I didn't do a big haul. Oh, uh, see, here it is. Okay, what's the name of it? Uh, Star Spangled Spectacular, Souvenirs of the Heart. I have Souvenirs of the Heart. Why didn't I see it in there? I don't know, Molly. Well, do I win well, the prize? No. Um, I'll give you a piece of candy, though. I got that. Okay, where's my candy? Did you I already candy? got that. Okay. Souvenirs of the Heart, Star Spangled Spectacular. So it's not a booklet. It's just, no, a, just a little leaflet. Well, thank mm -hmm. you, Kathy. You're welcome, Molly. Okay, speaking of Brenda Gervais. You're welcome, Gervais, Molly. Gervais, however you pronounce that thing. You know, I was talking about Lenny and Roberta earlier of uh, say, the Sable Stitchers. Mm -hmm. And, of course, I was fussing about Sweet Carol, got me hooked on all these other charts I have to have. You know, I'm hunting down. They showed some of the prettiest uh, Brenda Gervais patterns. Yeah. So I had to stop the video, go oh. online and start shopping for those patterns and all. Those videos and, are dangerous. They are. Quit doing that. They're so pretty. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to start my little haul. Okay. I don't have a big haul. Mm -hmm. I don't have a big haul either. I already showed one pattern, but I got, a, got some patterns. Okay, hopefully y'all are all getting in your market patterns and things y'all have ordered mm -hmm. recently. Uh, I have my wish list in some carts and stores, but I've only bought a few things. I bought that Robin Pickens. Uh, chart and then these were some of the colors new colors from classic color works it's uh, Those are really London pretty. fog misty mob and weather vane and they're just beautiful and they came with a pretty little sweet uh, free chart which I can't show you the chart but I can show you this so isn't I can't that's a cute little chart huh that's very cute so little little house need to work some mm -hmm. that you know, but I got this. I'm pretty sure I got it from Fat Quarter Shop, I think. There's just nowhere for me to put my junk. Okay, and then the only other pattern I've got had come in so far, they made this pattern for me, so I appreciate that. They said, you know, what would Molly like? <laughs> no. Uh, number one, <laughs> the greatest lady. of these, Faith. I love this. That's Kathy, cool. that is so me. I do like that one. Oh my God! Like so it's the Summer House one. Stitch Workers, and of course they they have what was the other one? Joy and Love or something? Mm -hmm. Love and something? Faith, Hope, Love. Faith, Hope. Okay, mm -hmm. I said Joy, Hope. But uh, while those are beautiful, that's the one. That is the one. So uh, I had to have that one, and it's just oh I don't turn around. That's just it's a little one page thing, and also I can't wait to get that kitted up. Okay, the rest of my haul is. Um, Fabric, y'all know I was on a fabric hunt. Well, I, a fabric I hunt. um, couple things. One of the things that I got was the cross stitch buddy, and I love and this. The, I was gonna say we need a white sheet of paper. Yeah. So, if if you hold it on black, if you hold it on black, you're gonna get a white reading. If you hold it on white, you're gonna get the black. So I thought that was really cool. Plus okay, that is totally cool. Uh-huh. 
Plus it's extra long. Look, it's white and then it's black. Yeah. Oh, it's, magic. Cool? it's magic. It's magic. How does that work? The other thing that this has on there is cross corners. So if you wanted to go in two inches on your border. I'm going to keep it on the paper. Sorry. Yeah. So Can you see the, yeah. what she's talking about right there? I, it tells you, it also tells you what needle size to use on your linen or your Ada. And we talked a little bit about that. I beg to differ, but um, also threads, how many threads to use based on your count of linen or Ada. That's on there. It will tell you the size of your count by holding your stitched piece up to this area here. We'll give you an idea that area where I was pointing right yeah, uh -huh. of what your stitch count most likely is. Um, this also has, which I love this, you can wind. I don't know if you can see that the way I'm there's holding There's three, three, these ends are you identical. See how they're indented? Yeah, they're indented in. So those are winders. And it has three different lengths. So you can wind from here to here, and that will get you 36 inches. Here to here will get you 24, and here to here will get you 18. So everything that you would ever think you'd need is on this ruler and she's got a hole to hang it. The only thing I wish it was a little bit heavier because I'm really rough on my rollers. But then I I quilt and use a rotary cutter that wouldn't you wouldn't want to do that to this. It's, it's really, really mm -hmm. thin for that. But mm -hmm. what a great tool. That's There's, amazing. Yeah, that for it... everything it's got on here. Now you can order this through um this cross stitch buddy, and let me get let me pull that up here on my phone because I just had it because I had to take a little break here from Molly's. <clears throat> you can order this through the cross stitch company, so you're going to have to Google that. But the cross stitch company, the wholesaler is Stitchy Pros, P R O S E or Pros A, um, but that's the wholesale site. The cross stitch company is for us to order. So, and I will tell you that with shipping, it was $41.32 with tax. Mm -hmm. But I think it's a really nice tool to That's have. a nice tool. Yeah. So, I got that. And then I bought this. Some One of the girls on the, one of the floss tube did this needle book. I got this book for 8 bucks, And it's just jam-packed loaded with embroidery and patterns. I just thought it was a neat book to have as a reference. But also, the couple things that you can make out of it, the... The um, needle book on the bottom there, scissors holder. There is a tote that you can make next to it. So I was just kind of excited, you know, for the pattern. And on the secondary market, I got it was literally eight dollars. So, Do you watch Textilist? Text stylist. Uh, pretty girl, pretty pretty. Big maybe. old huge gorgeous dimples. Um, maybe. You you would know her if you saw yeah. it. Anyway, she got lucky and got some books. You know how you go places and people yeah. bring stuff and yeah, you, know, you yeah. share with everybody else. She picked up some books that I bet you people are going to be hunting the market for. Hunting them down, you know? no. Because so, once anyway, we show watch these. That textile, she's but the fabulous. biggest thing for me was, like I said, this needle book here and then the pattern for the tote. I thought mm -hmm. was kind of good. You don't necessarily have to put this in there. You can put any stitching in there. And the same with the needle book. You can put any stitching in there. But it's nice. So you've got a nice pattern. And the reason that made me think of it is she was showing, uh, the textilist does uh, quilts and she makes bags and so maybe, she just all kind of stuff with textiles and things. And of course, uh, paw stitch. But, uh, and then I bought oh, this bag from Como Stitches. This is like right up my alley, these primitive houses. I will promise to show you. <laughs> I just wanted to zip it up. Isn't that cute? And they're, she made them. They're nice. She, she really did a nice job with the zipper and... And actually, she, I think, is close to being out of this fabric. I reached out to her on Etsy to see if she had any more of this fabric left. But Como, C-O-M-O, -O, Stitches. Um, and she's all out there on Etsy. Then, do you want me to keep going? Absolutely. So, you know, we all have our favorites at Nashville. Um, I will say Plum Street, the flag, three, flag thief really tickled oh. my fancy. Um, I know I've got that coming from the attic. A um, couple things that, but I still go always to my roots of a sampler lover. And I did order some patterns from Kathleen Littleton. I had to have this one. That is the one, it, Kathy, that I, I made me fall in love with the orange. I um, loved that one. Berry baskets. This and is the one that 
That the name of that is Emmeline Hotchkiss, and she did have this one done at Market, um, but she did have it started and it was on display. That is so funny, Kathy. And Ann, <sighs> Ann Hunt Nelson or Nelsie, eighteen oh five, kind of a Quaker there. I will say her booth, by far, had. I think some of the most beautiful samplers in it. And that's Cross Stitch Antiques, Kathleen Littleton. This is Sarah Welch, 1764. Kathy, this is gorgeous. Isn't that the little violet Ay, in there? Yay. Then I wasn't so crazy about this one until I went back and watched the video again. But this is her original design from a. And what caught my eye, it's a Bristol. I went to Bristol last year out at the attic and. And, um, of course, Claudia's there. She's like the expert Bristol gal. But Kathleen has been moving forward with a few more Bristols. This is her, this is her original Bristol. And this one's called Ligatures and Lettering of Irish Antique Samplers. Isn't that appropriate for today? Just different. It just says primitive. It says red. Just a very cool... And a job well done, Kathy. Job well yeah. done is right. She did a uh, nice job. Yeah, me. And this one is AB 1816 Quaker Sampler. Really like this one, too. How primitive is that? That's so me. And I thought this one, Annie Matilda Moss, um, Dalington Worth School, 1872. This could be easily done in red. I thought that was really pretty. This is a Sheer Island Quaker Antique Sampler Reproduction. And I'm sorry I'm going slow, but I wanted to be able to get the yeah. names. Yeah. Kathy, these are so pretty. Oh, yeah, yeah. That reminds me of your typical Quaker. And this one is called Two Lands Circa 1840. Mm -hmm. I have to say, it's full of words. But when I read the words, I love it. I was like, I have to have that one. And I'm going to read you the words so that you can, you can see. So it says, <clears throat> a, land, <coughs> a land where sweetest roses fade and smiling youth grows quickly old. A land where sunshine turns to shade and beauty takes a different mold. A land of change, a land of care whose fleeting joys are little worth. A land whose smile becomes a tear, that land is earth. A land of love where <clears throat> not, uh, uh, oh my goodness, that's a tough one. Not something, so, and this is on the antique. Sever. Sever. That can sever. That can, that's a C. Mm -hmm. And beauty beams with luster fear. A land where youth is young forever, her time exerts no influence there. A land where streams of pleasure flow and golden harps are given. A land where we are God shall know that land of that land is heaven. So it's talking about mm -hmm. heaven, earth, and, heaven earth. and earth. Mm -hmm. I just fell in love with that. Hard to read on the originals, but I will have to say. And this is just a very typical antique sampler reproduction, Jane Hardeberg, 1806. I just um, want to slow you down. Imagine you were eight years old. I know. Or 13 years old. And you're s stitching by the sunlight and then the fading light and a candle. Yeah. Or a fireplace. And you stitch this. I just love that verse. Isn't that um, unbelievable? Uh, amazing. And this one, too. This oh is Jane Hardebrook, 1806. An Irish sampler on the Christian faith. Kathy. <clears throat> and this is the Benazit alphabet sampler. Sorry, I'm good. Oh, you go ahead and look. <clears throat> and this is Lydia Mendenhall, 1817. I had to have this one because my mom's name was Lydia. And then Prince Albert Exhibition 1851 Pattern Album. This has <gasps> quite a few of the... Oh, I'm so glad you got that. Yeah, that's really cool. Oh, Kathy, do this one, do this one. Yeah, some really neat things. Now... I didn't realize, I may have known it, 
but I didn't realize Kathleen's got a shop too and she's got an online shop that you can order these through if you, if you don't want to go through your local needlework or can't get them right away um, but fam I went through the family hearth general store and she has a shop um, in Frankfort Illinois 119 Kansas Street suite 3 and that uh, her telephone number is area code 708 Three three four one nine eight eight, and if you go to her website, she's actually got some fun things Let on me, her okay. on her site. Um, besides, she's got stitching charts, accessories, um, and I bought this little sewing machine on a box. I can't wait to get that. Um, she had that on her store, so just a fun. And she's a sweetheart of a lady. If you get a chance to get up there, I told her I, that when we come home um, that we're going to have to go on a, a road trip. And I want to visit her store. Okay. I have a technical question. Yes, ma'am. Are these for linen only or can these be done on Ada? Oh, I'm sure you can do a lot of these on Ada. I want to know. I need to I'm know. I'm sure you can do a lot of them on Ada. Which one was I looking at? I love that one. That looks like I could do it on Ada, huh? You know what that reminds me of is the one that I finished uh, for... Uh, this was the one that the, I said I wanted, and then I ended up finding that one. The other one that had the book. oranges. And it was like, isn't that funny? I went back and I and I watched the, the uh, shops that were interviewed, and I was like, you know what? My favorite, my favorite shop was... But then again, I love samplers, so it was uh, Kathleen Littleton's cross stitch antiques and her reproductions and her um yeah that was <laughs> that was the cat's meow so i have to say that's i i'm sure if there's no over one you'll be fine okay i don't have my glasses mm. on there's a sawtooth on this on that one what does that mean sawtooth border it's like a satin stitch yeah but remember the last one i had you actually did it I yeah figured it out mm -hmm. uh those don't look like squares on there they look long and skinny Wait, is that because it's too here? Oh, I guess they are yeah, square. I see the square. line now. Mm -hmm. So, because you know, I've I've been working on some patterns before, uh, uh, two or three of them that I'm halfway through the pattern, I'm enjoying myself, and all of a sudden, then I read it, they're not as suitable for eight. I'm like, ah, well, oh, <laughs> I keep going. But some of this looks like would these letters show on yeah. Ada? Oh yeah, and you can usually tell, you know, if a no, lot of I times the designers will put a note on there. If it can be stitched on Ada or if it can be, mm -hmm. um, if it's strictly for linen. And I will say to the designers, that's really helpful for, for stitchers that are in love with samplers. You know, that there, that there is that option um, to, if, it, if that's put up front, that really helps. But I had fun. This is so pretty. Isn't that her I original? I love this one. Now, she's got a book. I understand she's going to be doing a class. Um, I talked to Claudia, too, over the weekend. She's going to be doing a class out, out at Hobby House Needleworks, I think. Um, so, she's going to be doing a retreat. Aren't they fun? They're my favorite. Kathy, I was telling Kathy earlier, I have some fabric that I got in and some fabric I already have in the closet. That um, it's beautiful. I love the color of the Ada. Mm -hmm. and I love the color of the fabric. And I'm like, what the heck would I stitch on that? And I told Kathy, I think I'm going to go in my thread stash and just pick out colors I like, put it on that fabric. Then I'm going to find a pattern that works. Oh, yeah, go this backwards. This would be one of the patterns that mm -hmm. would work. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. This is all done probably in one the, color or something or two. But I'm thinking you could do, you could play with colors on this, on could you see dark a, linens or a dark pin, A pin cushion out of that? That's hilarious. No. It's so cool. And look at that cowl. That cowl has been you. I can't show you the chart. We're talking about this one here that has all these and motifs in it. I just want to caution you. I looked through here real quick. Yeah. And I'm sure on all this word, and she tells you, that this was a book yeah, of these different book. patterns. The cover of this book is a beautiful piece of paper. Yeah. I know somebody. who could. Mm. <laughs> That's because I'd have to. It's a, You'd want to that do beautiful? the book. I want to do the book. Yeah. Isn't that beautiful? You'd want to print that out in the book. Or at least have this some somehow you know yeah. something to pick up that or feeling. stitched even okay so, so that a, was my stash your home. now i do I have a question out here oh, okay. don't move that don't move i that. do have a little bit of stash coming from the attic uh-huh but honestly that is my stash 
92 patterns and a ruler and a bunch I know. of other stuff. I think that's enough. You think I like um, samplers? I got I'm going to ask this. Kathy a question. Y'all yeah. hang on. Um, I yes. appreciate we get to share. Um, you mentioned yeah. a program earlier that you use on your computer to chart stuff. Right. What was it? Um, for cross stitch. Um, we're going to write it Just down because, for no, we're going to have to put it in, because now my brain just went dead. You said cross stitch something or other. Um, I mean, you just said it like that. I know. Talk about brain farts. Okay. So my question is, if I took this, could I make a cross stitch chart out of it? Yes. I'm in her embroidery book. Yes, of course. Could you make a cross stitch chart out of yeah. it? First I said, could I make a cross stitch chart? Let's see if we can change that. Could you make a cross stitch chart out of that? No. <laughs> You can come over. <laughs> Could I? Yeah. Let me show. Let me see if I can show y'all. Do you see this right here? Oh That's my God. embroidery. Just because and you I asked embroidered, me. And I used to embroider a lot. I don't want to embroider it. I want that in cross stitch. It's a, it was. It's an embroidery pattern, um, embroidery uh, program for cross stitch. And I, I think I spent like maybe I don't know, two hundred bucks. I need Kathy to chart this. Pattern maker. Pattern maker. Pattern, pattern maker, maker for pattern cross stitch. Yeah. Okay. Um, Eventually it comes back. Isn't that darling? It's a little yeah. uh, tree, like a feather tree. Yeah. What do you call it? I mean, like, like, mm -hmm. You need to draw that. Cute, cute, cute. cute. Or, so, I don't know how, I mean, I don't want you to break a copyright law, but. No. Um, the only other thing, I know you've got a whole, I just want to, uh, well, you know what? I'll let you show your linen, and then I'll talk about this. And then I have somebody that, a couple people that I want to thank, and then we've got, Oh, we're getting so close to our 10K. Oh, 10,000 subscribers. I had to think about yes, that. Yes, I know. What, what? <laughs> 10K. Uh -huh. um, and we have gotten in some really nice giveaways for our one. We do hit 10. We're close. So we need you all to subscribe. And and tell gonna, your friends and have them yeah, subscribe. Yeah, we're going to show a, a couple of them that we got. And some notes from some of them that sent us some stuff that want to support the channel. So, um yeah, w Molly and I decided we really, really like this one. Oh, I'm getting one. We're both getting one. I got get you. I, okay, it was one of those things. Kathy, move over. You're in front of my mom. I know. I'm ordering this. Really this is cute. cute. I can't decide do I want the... Oh, I forgot my color and cotton thread. I guess I could get two of them, huh? Oh, her color and cotton oh, yeah, threads. I love yeah, those. Color and I've got to order those. Yeah, okay, pretty. so I had put in the last video... I think it was the last video. It was a recent video. But yeah. I was looking for some Adas. Dark. Because I've tried linen. And that's oh, and so many people too. commented. Too. Some of the nicest, yeah, sweetest um, comments in the world about how to get Where the right color linens and to call shops and all this kind yeah. of stuff. Well, you know, after we videoed, it wasn't an hour that I got online and I started ordering fabric and uh, got from two different three different suppliers. Fat Quarter Shop, 123 Stitch. Both of those are in Texas. We're in Texas. It comes like in two days or three days. Um, maybe three days probably. But anyway, and then I ordered from Starlight Stitchery. And I teased Kathy. I said, well, they're not shipping as fast as I want. Well, then I read the fine print. They said any order ordered on February 27th or after was going to ship until after market. Well, I didn't read that until uh, after then. <laughs> and they, I'd ordered on the 27th. I'm sure this was. But the minute market was over, I got it. You yeah. Know, two days after or three days after market was over. So they were good for their work. But they had Be Stitch Me, which I had never tried I've before. Heard of, I've heard of that. And they had Atomic Ranch, which I had not ever heard of before. Yep. And then I ordered a, a, quite a few Picture This Plus, which Picture This Plus has some pretty colors. Not my favorite uh, Ada, because man, it is soft. It's like, yeah, you know, kind of. But I lo I like it. But it's I like fiber on a whim. I, you know. Anyway, so the more to the stores, I'm hesitant. I don't want to show y'all all these color by color because I don't want to bore you. But the more to the story is one of the viewers was sweet enough, and I'm like, I should have thought of that. She's like, just order the smallest size pieces they right. make, and see if you like it. You know, and knowing that the next time you order, it might be a different color. Yeah. But it'll be close. But it, you, you know, it's never gonna over dye it as, unless they're printing on same it. Same with over dye threads. Well, you know, some of them paint on the fabric or print mm -hmm. on the fabric. That will be the same. But if it's truly over dyed, right, it's not gonna be the same. But it'll be close. You know, they mm -hmm. use the same recipe. But the moral to the story is, I tried. Let me see. On the screen, and oh, let me see. I'm gonna lay these out. These are the picture. This plus, Kathy, will that work if I do that? Yeah. Okay. And I'm gonna lay. I'm, give me just. Pause, please. I mean, hold, please. Hold, please. That's what I meant to say. Hold, please. <laughs> These are the picture this plus colors that I got. Are you drinking beer here at all? 
Uh, Guinness in a little ah. bit. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You got to. Yeah, it's Irish. <laughs> My husband's been watching. I'm doing Bailey's Irish cream. Oh, I do have some Bailey's. Darn. I, that, uh, ooh, I, I got some mm-hmm. chocolate. Let me make myself a Bailey's malt. Mm-hmm. Uh, anyway, so this is the... Wait, did I go too far? No. Okay. This is the picture this plus that I bought. <laughs> she bought patterns. I tell her. I know, I bought this that. is the picture this plus that I bought. And I love them. The only thing I'm a little disappointed in is... Several of these look way darker on screen. Yeah. And quite a few of them have a, a peachy, really light. peachy cast. Yeah. You know, not as much these, I guess. But uh, anyway, but so I'm going to have fun with those. I'm going to pick out my favorites and things. Let me unhide so this. So one because, of those, I think, is what I was I'm thinking of. Purplish color. Aren't they pretty? So I've got some pretty For your Blackbird. Here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now, from Starlight Stitchery, please forgive me. They package in glassine bags, you know, I like bakery, you know, like some bakery bags, glassing yeah. bags, which I like glassing bags for artwork and stuff. I like using that in my crafts, but they crinkle on camera. And the name of the fabric is stuck on that bag. Mm-hmm. I can't put it on the fabric, so I've got to have the bag to tell you. Uh, but this was Atomic Ranch, and it, it's called uh, Embellish. And it's light. It's a pretty color, but boy, it's light. And it's got a little bit of a peachy cast. Maybe you can see it better there. Yeah. Near, near Kathy's sweater, you yeah. know. So Don't anyway. they got a peachy cast. Okay, and then this one is called Prairie Land from Atomic Ranch, and I love the over dyed look of it. Yeah, it's got some pretty. Um, but it's peach, you know. It it's is, it's, it it's peach. One of these though might so, look good with your black that pretty though. Mm-hmm. Did you get fourteen, Carl? 14? I got. I, think it's I got a mixture of 14, 16, 18. Mm-hmm. This one looks like a 14. I'm going to look on the back. Hold on. Uh, 14 count. The crunchy bag. Yeah. yeah, and it's a quarter. What is that? Quarter. quarter. Yeah. Okay, and it's prairie land. Yeah. So I like prairie land. A little peachier than I expected. <coughs> Sorry. Okay. Now this one is just all out peach. <coughs> it's bee stitch me lightly salted. And it is, I mean, can you see next to Kathy's sweater, which is a pretty oatmeal colored sweater? Yeah, you it's, can see it's, it's peach. pretty peachy. It's peach. So... This one may get overnight. Yeah. yeah I may it's take that really and get that and something. Cause it's too bad. I don't know. Anyway, now this one. Love it's it. A little bit darker. And it's one more reproduction. I like the name. I like. I wish I'd have been sitting in on that meeting. Uh, <sighs> I said I don't want a job naming. That's what I said. I like it. whoever came up with that. I, I like them. And... Anyway, so this is one more pr- reproduction. I'm not doing it justice. Not a lot of texture to the color, but enough. Yeah, there's enough there. So it's very pretty. Yeah. And this is be Stitch Me. Okay, this one, if it was a candy, I'd eat it. It is so pretty. It is called Sand Dollar. Oh, that looks like a Sand Dollar. It looks like a Sand it Dollar. It looks like a Sand Dollar. And you got a... So it doesn't have a pink cast to it, which I like. It's well, got a that's grayish a toe count, cast. And you got an eighth on that So my one. catch is, be Stitch Me, do you have a color that's this, only a shade darker, or two shades darker? Without a peach. No peach. No peach. Uh, but yeah. I love this color. So this is sand That's dollar. That's pretty. I'm, I'll probably be ordering more of that while while they're in that batch. Yeah. <laughs> while they're, working while they're in that, that batch one. of colors. And then the last one I'm going to show you is probably my favorite. And it was a bigger piece of one more reproduction. And I want to show you. That's 18 Kathy, count. Kathy, hold it. Yep. And this is 14? No. This, this is 18 count. And that's 16. Oh, okay. They're both. You. I don't know if you can see the difference. There is a difference. There is a difference. Yeah. This is the 18 count, or 16, hold on. I'm okay. on 18 count. No, you're on 16. Okay. I'm on 18. Okay, so if you can see, can oh, I don't know if I can get it for you. Pinker, not quite as pink. Yeah. But anyway, uh, both of them pretty, but that's the difference. Mm-hmm. But Between what I liked about Starlight Stitchery is she shows you stacked the colors of this is the... 40 count linen, this is 32 count linen, this is the such such as 18 count Ada, 16 count Ada, 14. So you can see the gradation and color of how the dye took on the different fabric yep. and all. But so the one more reproduction, I love it. Love it. Even the lighter one, I still love, but see how this, I don't know, you can't see, it's darker. I don't know if you can tell. But anyway, it's just pretty. So be stitch me. Yum, yum, yum. Atomic Ranch, the colors are pretty, just a little peachy for me. Um, the Prairie Land, I love it. I wish they had a little less peach, but we're going to live with it. You know, uh, and, I'll, and then the picture of this plus, I kind of went nuts on colors, but then, I'm good to go now. I'm, I can do some stitching. I want to really quickly talk about this. Oh, 
because I got an email <clears throat> from Fancy Back. Um, they had some older patterns too that people went crazy over. Of course, some of the, these were out of print and you know, we pay the high dollar on secondary market, what have you. She wrote, <clears throat> hello to all. We hope your new year has started off well. This is a quick note and update on the elves. With information from our poll last autumn, some insight from how our lives seem to have rolled along in the past few years and a few options that were presented to me, we found a solution that best works for reissuing or updating the elf collection patterns or any previously released fancy that patterns we chose. There is no exact time frame yet, but y'all need to know that we are in the process and getting closer to offering the elf collection once again. Love that. So who collection. was that letter from? This is from the Fancy uh, that? Yeah, Beth at Fancy Fancy That. Oh, come on, Beth. Come on, Beth. So I have them all. This is the Postmaster Elf. <clears throat> And then if you turn that one over, is the tree trimming out? Oh, my gosh. So you bought them as kits? I No, I kitted them over time. Because where'd the buttons come from? I you bought the buttons oh, over you bought time, the buttons. yeah. This one's Rudolph and Rudy the Elf. <clears throat> oh, come on, y'all. And on the back is Santa's Workshop Elf. This is the Toy Maker Elf. Are they not adorable? That so for all of you that are wishing this would come out again, so that's the Toy Maker. Oh, flip it. Okay. Oh, this is the yeah. Toy Maker. Toy Maker Elf. And Woo. the Sleigh Keeper Elf. And then I have Primitive Mrs. Nick. Okay, the Sleigh Keeper is adorable. Adorable. And then I have Primitive Miss, Mr. Nick. And then I have the candy elf. And the baking elf. So I'm gonna oh, I have I have pulled threads and calculated this all out. He is adorable. I'm gonna stitch mine on the look at that. I've even got it basted. Candy. Isn't look it cute? How adorable. All basted. I'm gonna be stitching it on all mine on the polka dots. Why is it basted? Because it's a big piece of fabric. And I have to be very careful of where I stitch within. So I'll be stitching it on one piece of fabric. Stitching what on? All of them? All of them. Yeah. And then I'll cut them up and make them into... And these were my cards. I went through and got all the car, all the threads. So I thought that was a fun thing to pass along. So this was Elf Pattern Update. Fancy Stitching Beth. <clears throat> Let's all... Call Beth. And yeah. Tell her to, come on, come and on, come on. The, let me just see if she's got an email address on here. Um, she does. B as in boy, K H at fancythat.com. So you can all tell her to hurry up. So that yeah, she we'll can keep get you so busy answering emails. She won't I have know, time. She can These get the, are cute. Aren't, I know. Aren't they adorable? They're adorable. So, okay, now I have a problem. Yes. Kathy, Look at those buttons. I know. What are the odds anybody could find That's, those buttons? Well, yeah, they're still out there. And you know what? I'll lay you money that once There's they chocolate release chip these. Cookies. Yeah. Once, so start looking for buttons, people, because you don't have to have the exact same buttons that they call for. No. You can all, oh, no, you yeah. Know. Well, and you can cross-stitch the little cookie. I mean, yeah. so, uh, so I wanted how? to share that. Kathy, you, you better get with Beth. I know. Okay, the... Uh, I'm taking orders here. I need the uh, when she <laughs> lets you, I need the bacon one, the sweet one, cute? and this Mrs. Nick. I like the candy elf. I think I know her. She's a good. I she. I think she lives next door to me. Isn't so, that darling? Good to know that she's going to be reprinting these because I know how hard it was for me to get all of the set. I'm going to just look at. And honestly, quick. it's been a set over time where I had to. You know, watch the secondary market because they're older patterns. I mean, once again, but it's nice to know they're going to come out. Let me just see here once if there's a, a year on here. Sometimes they put a year on 1998. Here. Yep, and this is 95. So we, we gals ago, back in the 80s yeah. and 90s, when, you know, it's funny. Um, I think I was watching um, Pulling Scissors uh, or. or um, Jane. Missy, oh. you know, Missy and um, Kathy. Kathy. Uh -huh. And Missy's so right. We would get a pattern back in the 80s, and it, it would be one of these ginormous, filled-in, million-color-change patterns. We didn't think two thoughts about it. We just did it. 
Mm-hmm. We just did it. We just like, oh, you know, it none of this. Do this I'm doing it. Yeah, none of this worrying about. Oh, I'm gonna. We just did it. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so some of these patterns, like my cranberry bog pattern, and these fancy that pattern, and she had a really cute Uncle Sam. So maybe the Uncle Sam one will be out again. So keep an ear out. Or you can email Beth and let her know you want. Did you respond to Beth yet? No, I haven't, but I will. I'm going to let her know that we should, we talked about it on her. And I put all my fancy bags in my cute bag that I won. Thank you so much. She's doing it on polka dot fabric. What did she do them on? I don't know, but I thought the polka dot looked snowy. Well, it does, but yeah. it just... Back in 1998, I bet she didn't have polka dot fabric. No. Okay. We updated it. Yeah. We did an upgrade. Okay, what else do you I want to thank Wendy. I'm going to read you something here. It says, first, I love your floss tube. Keep it up. You have such wonderful projects. Mm -hmm. I came back to CrossFit during COVID and couldn't believe how much it had changed since the 80s. Wasn't that a good year? Watching your last video, I realized I had this hope. Y'all remember Molly and I have been making tags. I made tags. <clears throat> My box is full. <clears throat> Anyway, I, I mentioned that my hoop was a little too large for this lady's hand. And she had a hoop from a gift box from Missouri Star Quilt Company and thought I might enjoy it. So look at that, people. My tag for cross stitch now has a hoop in hand. Much smaller than the one you had before. That was oh, ginormous. Yeah. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Wendy. I wanted to thank you for that. And then um, one of our viewers Cindy has sent also some gadgets, if you will, some patterns that we can use for our 10,000 subscribers. And I have those. So are you, do you have more to show? Uh, no, I'm dying for you to show that, right? Okay. So 10,000 subscribers is coming up really fast. And, I, and I'm just going to show you what we're going to be doing for giveaways. So this is really important that you all subscribe because you have to be a subscriber in order to take advantage of this. But we have the plaid mousse. If you remember, um, Val Sullivan, her husband, does these cute little. So this will be one. It's Wait, can I hold yep. it? It was in yep. front of her face, so I want you all to see how cute it is. Isn't he darling? A stitcher from our audience sent me the Elizabeth Cross sampler. We'll be doing that as a giveaway. We'll be doing a tapestry compact. You know that I love these. Um... For you to make us to hold your needles and magnets we'll have that and i like i said i've got some patterns here that cindy sent in to us we're going to use some of these we've got starbucks <laughs> samplers and primitives the autumn alphabet okay so remember you don't comment on this don't one comment about yet. we got to hit that ten thousand ten you guys got to help us get to ten okay this is darling. jeanette douglas vintage flowers and Pumpkin Farm by Carriage House. I've stitched this one, and it's adorable. Did you get so, you order that fall pattern from I did. Berry Patch or whatever? Yep. <clears throat> Look how pretty and this is. then, oh my this God. one is so exciting. So, thank you this for all these. Gal, oh my gosh. Yes. This gal sent us, and you're all going to love it. Um, I want, and I'm going to tell you right now, you can go to her Itsy shop because she does have these available. Her Itsy shop is a sign of interest. And she gave us to give away one of these absolutely adorable. Sorry, I'm trying to, I think they can see the email. <clears throat> adorable stitchers tray and or, and she laughed when I showed her my ort. This <laughs> is not connected, so thing. I'm, yeah. uh, Holding on yeah, to it. we're going to mention that maybe she can put a magnet on it too and get that okay, one a little bit more secure if you need be. But um, so this is, and it's walnut wood. Molly and I are going to both order one. She's got a beautiful woodworking design on the back. But and she, little feet to protect your yeah tabletop. to protect your mm -hmm. tabletop. But the magnet, do you want to grab your scissors? It's like it oh, can sure. hold a machete. Oh, because I <laughs> have a machete in here. Okay. <laughs> Did you hear that clunk? I know. So, absolutely. Oh, wait, she took my scissors. Yeah. My scissors yeah, she that's not going to fall. That is not going to fall. Yeah. So, she claims that you can go to the stitching retreat and be the belle of the ball. So, a sign of interest. And she also has other different designs. Please go to her Etsy shop 
and you can see the different things that she does do with the wood. So we've got this, this, this is her card. Molly, I gave you a card. Okay. If we didn't like it, we wouldn't show it. Um, but at the end of the end of the day, we I just think she's got sunflowers instead of the bee. You could get a sunflower, a butterfly. I forget what else. She has something with stitchy words yeah. or something on there. Something. And here's so what she wrote: yeah. Have fun offering this to one of your followers. <clears throat> I'm sure the lucky winner will enjoy it. Please let me know if you need anything in the future. I'd be happy to. Su I'm ha so happy to support your channel. Um, so that is going to be also one of our giveaways, and I'm really happy to it. do that. Molly and I um, are both going to be ordering. I'm going to do I'm, the B one. I'm pretty sure I'm going to do the B one. Which is this one? Yeah. My yeah. dilemma is this. She has one. They're cute. She has a bunch of cute styles. You won't believe the price. Mm -hmm. You're going to want to get two or three of them. Yeah. Um, but she has one that's got two jars on it. And I said, I kind of want that, I think, because I love keeping my needles and, right. you know, thimbles or a little wax thing in there. Or a little cutter or something. But, uh, and then the other one would be for arts. So there is one with two jars. The only thing is you don't, on the two jar one, and I haven't shopped long. Kathy just came over. Mm -hmm. But uh, you don't get the, as pretty of a chance to have the artwork in The artwork there. But you still get the beautiful wood, the yeah. magnet, the whole the thing. The woods now. are the gorgeous. The jars are covered with cute, she cute does, fabric. She um, does oh, cherry. She does walnut. Um, she'll do walnut on stain, walnut stain, cherry stain. Cherry. She's got a blue, real pretty teal blue stain. Mm -hmm. Um mm -hmm. So yeah, I think they're, I, I told her we'll show this a couple of times because we're not up to 10 yet. We're at 90. The quality of it is yeah. just so well done. 91, 91, almost 92. A lot of people are using oh. lately, uh, you know, they have the wood burning machines. Yeah. This is not wood burning. That no, is, can you see actually, how deep that is in there? And that's her card again, a sign of interest. So you might want to check out her site on Etsy. Let her know that you saw us. On our floss tube, I know. I'm I excited it. about it. I'm very excited. I was excited when I saw them. I was like, that's really cute. I showed her my Oort bag. It's literally a plastic bag that might have had egg rolls in it. <laughs> Got a little clip by my stitching chair. So this will be nice to have an, a pretty, and to take to a retreat too. Mm -hmm. And so. this is because of y'all, because y'all were sweet enough to subscribe and join us yeah. and be our friends. And uh, such wonderful comments and everything. Mm -hmm. uh, Kathy has set us a goal of 10,000, so it's like we're going to wait yeah, until we get that 10,000. We're going to hit that, but, get to that oh, 10 Thank y'all. Yeah. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank, 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 thank you. Thank you. Um, thank y'all for those who have given so far. That's remarkable. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, my gosh. Wonderful viewers uh -huh. and friends, and I think that's all I have. Okay, Imagine Kathy. That. Well, I, not that I want a diddle dollar, but i got to get online and order me one of these. Okay. Uh, or <laughs> she I, wants to really get to the beer. She's got to get I got to get one of that. these before I do anything else. Okay, and I might before have to order some of those. I might have to order some before I do anything else. And I might have to order some of those. Uh, who were those patterns you had in mind? Uh, um, oh, fancy that. No, I can't order those yet. They had she knocked oh. them out. The okay. one we had so many of them. Uh, da, 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 they had the orange house. They had the one with the quote about heaven and earth. Who the heck was that? Oh, Kathleen Littleton. What's the name of the pattern? Cross Stitch Antiques. Cross Stitch Antiques. That was work getting that out. I know. Okay, Cross Stitch Antique. I, might not I, I didn't know we were back on samplers. I love samplers. I do. Okay. Anyway. How hard it is. Now, I've got to remember not to try to use the mouse. Kathy laughs at me. I cannot tell you. Y'all are on my phone. Every time. Every time I try to turn, Every time. turn you off, um, I reach for the mouse and it doesn't work. Okay, y'all have a wonderful St. Patty's Day, a wonderful spring. Can't wait to see y'all again. Like, subscribe, share. Yeah. Love the comments. Oh, my Love gosh. Love your comments. Oh we do try gosh. to get to them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know Molly had a boatload of them last time about how to order your Ada. Well, and I appreciate it. Yeah. I really, I was good, good tips. So, okay. All right. See y'all again soon. Bye. Bye.